How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? For those of you who have been watching my channel for a long time, the thing that I do, the thing that I know the most, the thing that I'm a, a true expert in is Taylor Swift and her latest music videos. I mean, I, I give my hot takes pretty much all the time. It's what I'm known for. I, I, it's just something I've fallen into. Uh, last time we ventured into the world of Taylor Swift, we looked at the music video, The Man. If you didn't watch that video, you should check it out. Then you'll know how much I truly know about Taylor Swift. Today, I see on the internet that the new Taylor Swift album dropped, and I've been listening to it, of course, nonstop. nonstop. I don't know very much about Taylor Swift at all. The Man, it was a catchy song. I felt like it was kind of derivative. I didn't feel like it was saying a whole lot. But everybody's talking today about how Taylor Swift has this new album out. It's a surprise album. It's called Folklore. Perhaps maybe trying to return to her roots of kind of folky type music or uh, move forward, talk about the future. And the future is fairies. We all know that. I thought, you know what? As a guy who knows very little about the topic, I'd like to see what she's doing. Uh, apparently this album, I mean, it's 11 months. According to Wikipedia, 11 months since her last release, her last album. This is actually why I looked it up, because I was like, I thought she just released an album, and that's what The Man was from. And it's true. I mean, there was that whole documentary about it. Apparently, it's been 11 months inspired, inspired by, by true, true real-life real events, events. COVID-19. Uh, all the artists are like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I'm not touring. I have nothing to do. I need attention. You know what? A lot of great... Great art apparently is being put out right now or being developed this year uh, because of COVID-19. The elites seem to be doing okay. So um, let's watch it together as best friends and, and see what it's like. I really, I have no reasoning for watching this outside of pure, unadulterated curiosity. I haven't heard anything negative about this, so it's not like, oh, let's watch this controversial Taylor Swift music video. I just am genuinely curious to see what she puts out. How were they able to film out in the middle of the forest during COVID-19, huh? That is true. When you're young, they assume you know nothing. I don't hate this. I mean, it, it's a sweet song. It's catchy. I'm sure if I heard it more, I would feel more like inspired maybe by it. It's obviously very personal. I kind of like this. I like songs that are, are vague, not super vague to where you're like, I don't know what that song's about, but I do like songs that have meaning to the person who wrote it. And then beyond that, uh, they're people can find meaning in it from their own circumstances. Songs that have inspired me the most in my life I think the artist probably looking back at it had other interpretations or a different interpretation to what I took from it. Uh, so this song seems to have that, unless there's there's, <laughs> there's probably going to be some great controversy that I'm going to find out about that. Uh... Kevin, um, no, this is clearly about her relationship with George W. Bush. This is what I'm talking about. There's poetry to it. It feels poetic. She says uh, something about being someone's cardigan. There's a uh, symbolism to it. I hate when this happens to my piano bench. Oh no! It's a sweet song. I mean, it's just about a guy, I'm sure, I'm assuming. But there's poetry to it. There's style. There's heart and passion. And it doesn't feel bitter. It feels reflective. And maybe that's what we're getting. Maybe that's what this album is, is kind of a, a reflection on life. If you're stuck in your house, even if it's a mansion, you have time to reflect. I think we all have that. So I think that that's cool that maybe this is more inspired by true life experience, which uh, is what everybody wants, right? Like my videos. So inspired by true life experience, like my experience of watching a Taylor Swift music video. That scared me. No, no, not yet. You gotta towel off first. Oh, look, it says to shop the cardigan. Shop the cardigan as in, like, buy... Yeah, okay. <laughs> I could just, uh... <laughs> I could just picture the, uh, the, the salespeople. Guys, we got it. We're gonna sell cardigans. People are stuck in their homes. What are they gonna do? They're, they're all wearing cardigans, you know? They're snuggled up. Maybe they should have a song called Afghan. No, maybe not that, but uh, 
I'm so cynical. It feels like such a marketing ploy. Not only can you buy the album and the cassette. Is it here? There it is. The very one. $50. That's not bad for a custom cardigan. Shoot, I'd buy it. <laughs> sure. Oh, wait. Does it change price with size? Good. Wouldn't want to discriminate. What else we got here? We got a hoodie. I do like the aesthetic. Got a phone case. A, a pop squat. Is that what it's called? A pop squat? And just buy Taylor Swift herself. Just buy her. <laughs> Look, this is the cardigan. You know what's funny about this? It's a cute looking cardigan on a cute looking person. <laughs> I always think this with clothes, even at Walmart, you're like, oh, that shirt looks good. I think I, I could look good in that. And then you buy it and you're like, this doesn't fit me at all. Well, yeah, because it's built for somebody who doesn't look like you, Kevin. Just like this cardigan, I, I feel like it wouldn't look as good on me. Cool. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the new Taylor Swift song, Cardigan, the music video. What do I think of it? I think it's fine. It's cute, it's, uh, it's sweet, it's reflective. All the things that I said before, it seems like um, a personal song. And honestly, I think I like this. I like this kind of down-home aesthetic and feel. I don't know if maybe, I mean, I'm sure the last album did fine, but it feels in a way like a, a return to roots, a return to form, maybe not. Like I said, I don't know a lot about uh, Taylor Swift, but I, I feel like this is where she shines, the stuff that I've heard. This has been a guy who knows only hearsay information about Taylor Swift watching the latest Taylor Swift song. Thanks for watching. I got a brand new movie review coming out. Oh, this is connected. It's kind of connected. The movie is about Jeremy Camp, another singer songwriter. Join me Saturday, the 25th, as of recording this, that's tomorrow, of my big epic movie night review of the movie I Still Believe. I'll be releasing the premiere at 5 o'clock central time, so you can join me and I'll be in the chat talking to you guys as the review plays. So you can talk to me, ask me questions, tell me how much I got wrong about Taylor Swift, and I'll see you all there. Can't wait to uh, party, party down. Let's go. Good night. <laughs>